Chili peppers can be incredibly hot, but they're still one of my favorite things to eat. Whether it's Mexican food, Thai food, or plain old Texas chili. The spicier the better in my view. So when thinking about a speech topic, I thought it would be a really neat idea to do it on chili peppers. Chili peppers have been around for thousands of years. Their scientific name is capsicum. I think that's how it's pronounced. They're different from black peppers, which come from Asia. Chili peppers come from South America. In fact, as you can see from this map, they began somewhere around Bolivia, Brazil. They spread everywhere else after Columbus came to the New World. The pleasure and pain of eating chili peppers comes from a chemical called caps capsi capsaicin, something like that. Here's a chili pepper that I cut in half. I know it's kind of small, you can't see it, but there are these uh, veins and seeds in there, and that's where the capsaicin is held. Um, that's where all the heat is. As one of the books I read said, there are two ways to measure the heat of the chili pepper. The HPLC method is more scientific, so scientists prefer to use it. The, this guy that I held up um, is an orange habanero pepper, and if you eat it, it'll burn your mouth up. So if you do eat a hot pepper, don't try rinsing out your mouth with water. Instead, drink some milk or eat some yogurt or some other stuff like that. Milk also helps if you burn your skin uh, from contacting with a pepper. If you're attacked by a mugger or a robber, you can protect yourself by using a pepper spray. The spray burns the eyes and skin and gives you enough time to escape. According to Jack Chalam, chili peppers also have lots of medical benefits. They're used to reduce arthritis pain, to help with indigestion, and cure baldness. Um, well, I guess that's all I have to say about chili peppers. Can you imagine life without chili peppers? I know I can't. So, thank you.